It's great because I get a lot of positive feedback. Um, I'm sharing resources and I'm also seeing what other entrepreneurs are doing. It helps me run the business. The benefit is actually uh, it's nice to be able to get out of the house and not have to go to a coffee shop. It's also been a great way to have sort of a social outlet when normally um, my job would be isolating. Stephanie Sheridan, JJ Shealy, Ron Singh and Tiffany Newman are just four of the many entrepreneurs in different fields working in the same office space. This business incubator is run by real estate broker Carter Farrington. I came up with a static proposal for the incubator and it started changing the minute that we created it because uh, Different people come with different different needs and different ideas. And Farrington awesome. got the idea after seeing an article in Details Magazine. His short-term goal is getting renters, of course, but his long-term goal is to be with people in a vibrant community where everyone shares and trades ideas and skills. It's a matter of needing and wanting. Is, do you, can you work from home and launch as successfully as you could here? Do you have a peer group at home? Do you have... Uh, uh, people perhaps can help you with a deadline. Renting urban office space is expensive almost no matter where you live. Small rooms or offices here in Washington typically range from $800 to more than $1,700 a month. But here, entrepreneurs can get what they need for less than $300 a month. Uh, I would not be able to afford to have my own private office without this place, uh, especially for the size and quality of the office space given DC's rent prices. The DuPont Circle Incubator has got the copy and fax machines that office workers need and down the hall Jennifer Geyer who works at Accounting Comes Alive says the incubator is a valuable communal office space. As far as being like intellectually stimulated if I feel like I'm just draining myself on emails I can go out to the public workspace and there's always somebody doing something interesting or somebody I haven't met so it's just it's a nice way to get re-energized. A key theme we heard from everyone here. Right. Farrington and his tenants frequently meet in the conference room to arrange an event that benefits everyone. Today it's Lunch Launch, which will be a question and answer session with small business owners sharing their thoughts and ideas. There is sort of a natural need and desire to want to have a territory. That is, have your own office, have your own space. And sometimes having all that space really actually makes you less productive. In a tough economy, incubators are becoming more popular, and today there are more than 1,200 of them in the United States. I'm Philip Alexio, BOA News.